As more Coloradans get vaccinated against COVID-19, state and local leaders planning to ease restrictions on businesses. And News 5's Andy Cohen, he's live tonight from Colorado Springs City Hall with a closer look at some potential changes we have coming, Andy. Well, Elizabeth, the state health department intends to retire the COVID dial framework on April the 16th and replace it with a new public health order that gives much more local control over virus response to local communities. Since September, the color coded COVID dial has been the single tool used to enforce capacity restrictions at businesses and employers across the state. But the governor told Springs Mayor John Southers that's about to change. He indicated that uh, his intention at the current time is that April 16th, uh, the color coding would become optional uh, and not mandatory. And that, of course, relates to a lot of the capacities. He said the city will not impose any new capacity restrictions over and above state requirements. And that's a position shared by county commissioners. I would recommend he not wait until um, the middle of April. I recommend he actually do them now. Board Chair Stan Vanderwerf said that too many small businesses, especially hotels and restaurants, have struggled under the restrictions. Every time we gotcha. administer more vaccine, our risks for spread continue to go down. Currently, more than a quarter of a million doses of COVID vaccine have been given out in El Paso County. That number is above one and a half million statewide. But the mayor said our local virus numbers have started to go up, and he warned the community that we're not finished with the pandemic yet. I want to emphasize uh, to your viewers that we're not out of this. Uh, the good news is we're making a lot of progress in uh, vaccinations. Now, the statewide mask mandate expires this Saturday. However, state officials tell us the governor intends to sign another 30 day extension. Only this time the order is going to be a little more flexible to take into consideration the varied case counts in different counties and also some feedback that was provided through public comments. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Andy Cohen, News 5.